Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Tendera. I'm Gerowyn and I can't keep the phone facing this way, it's too bright. Hang on. <laughs> okay, sorry about that dodgy camera work. Um, that was not fun on my eyes. Anyway, I thought I'd do an update on the mulberry cuttings. It's been six weeks now since I put these little cuttings into their various little spots. And these ones don't seem to have done anything. There's no shoots, there doesn't appear to be any root growth, nothing. Um, so those ones, not so successful. These ones have got lots of leaves um, and courtesy of Jonathan's curiosity, he picked it up and discovered that there are roots. <laughs> which is fantastic uh, it also means because the roots are growing out the pot I need to up pot these um, and the ones that have been sitting in the water there's a little bit of budding happening maybe that might turn into roots but I'm thinking I might actually stick them into some soil as well um, I don't think the seaweed solution made any difference at all to them um, but yeah so three out of the four of these have some sort of roots coming down the bottom and have leaves forming. This one looks like it might be thinking about doing something, but yeah, so that's the progress so far. So I need to put these into some bigger pots. Um, the updates on the ones that I did a couple of weeks ago, there might be a couple of things budding happening, but I should probably put those into some soil because clearly from that over there, that's not the best way to strike mulberry cuttings. The best way is in soil. Um, so yeah. So other than that, a bit of an update on the rest of the garden. I have not been focused on it at all because I've been studying. Um, and I've just finished half of my diploma in counselling. So I've got another six months, another 12 months to go on that. And I have completed my certificate in Christian coaching. So that's a bit exciting. But courtesy of all that study... And the boys' schoolwork, of course. Um, the garden has been neglected. I haven't watered it as much as I should have, which, honestly, it only takes five minutes to water it. It's just, it's just not something that I got to doing. But I've got some tomatoes on. Um, my herbs are still doing well. The strawberries are starting to flower and fruit, which is lovely. Um, one of my sugarcane cuttings has shot which that is pretty cool, really excited about that. I've managed to get a Malabar spinach, or a Salon spinach, it looks like, self-germinate in one of my mulberry potting pots, um, which that's okay. Those plants over there are not doing well at all. Well, the Elysium's flowering nicely, and the cutting from the cassava that I put in there has also struck, so that's also exciting. Um, I've had challenges with puppies uprooting things and they escaped out of a underneath the fence over there so I've put one of my pots down there so the silver beet and the strawberries are doing well in there I moved those ones over there so they get more of the morning sun um, but because I didn't water them enough it hasn't really done so well but this is the one that I put the um, Okinawa spinach in as a cutting so I put a cutting here and here and it has actually struck which is great um, same with the Brazil spinach I put a cutting in there as well and it has struck as well so really pleased with that tomatoes not doing so well although I do have a fruit on um, but I don't think it was getting enough sun to start off with I'm just going to pick off that flower thing because I do not want this flowering yet so basil's doing well which is great um, so yes uh, we have gotten one cucumber off the vine, which the boys have eaten, and it looks like I've got a few more that I can pick. Um, they're not the nicest formed cucumbers, but that's not tragic. Um, they're an interesting shape, <laughs> but that's okay. I have no problems with the shape of cucumbers being a little bit unusual, um, and it's probably because I was inconsistent with watering. Um, so that would be my theory on what caused the problem but yes and I'm not going to declare the garden a failure I'm just declaring it a little bit neglected and I should have looked after it better but it's all good 
term's finished now, so now the plants can get a little bit more attention during the holidays. Um, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I should plant up that, pot up those three mulberries in two pots. Um, so yes, really glad that Jonathan suggested that I lift them up to see if there were any roots forming, because otherwise I would not have seen them. Um, so yes, because you can't tell what's happening inside the soil. But yeah, really, really pleased with that. So I've got a few pots that I can pot those up into so they've got bigger pots. Not as many as I need though, I don't think. <sighs> I don't know, I'll come up with something. Oh no, I do have a few pots. I should be right. Anyway, I can always find some way around that. There's some solution. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. So really pleased with that. But I'm going to see if I can get that done. I just realised I haven't had breakfast yet. Might be why I'm not feeling so great. So be it. Not all of the sugar cane is struck. Um, I think there's sugar cane in that one down there. And I didn't notice that it had struck at all. Um, I will go have a look. It's not going to take two seconds to go and have a look. Well, it'll probably take closer to 30 seconds to walk down here. But that's not tragic. So yes, it's stopping the dogs from getting under the fence. Um, so no, no, this... Oh, actually, yes, it has. Look at that. It has. There's a little shoot there. It's a little sugarcane stain to form. Um, not the ideal pot for sugarcane, because sugarcane is quite a big plant. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, yeah. See if the little strawberry and the silver bead are doing well. Um, yes, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, um... I'll go sort out. I'm glad I came down and had a look now. Um, we just had the grass mode yesterday. We've had a heap of rain, which the pots missed out on all the rain because they're under cover, aren't they? Well, not all of them. That one got it. <laughs> and these ones got a little bit um, just because they were right on the edge and it depended on what kind of direction the wind was blowing. But things are definitely growing nicely. Um, Although I have had a bit of a problem with certain puppies getting into mischief. I'm going to move this over here. So that's my... I think that's peppermint and lemon balm. I think, if I remember, then there's a calendula plant in there. I had put some gotcha cola in there, but I don't think it struck. So I might have to get some more gotcha cola. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to pot up these cuttings, possibly. Um, or maybe go and have some breakfast. I don't know, I might do breakfast first. Either way, I'll be back and show you with the progress later. Okay, so this one had a huge amount of roots, which was fantastic. This one, everything just fell apart and there was no roots at all. But with any luck, putting it into some more dirt will give it the best chance of actually rooting. So I've still got at least one more to do that I know is rooting. And I think that's going to be me for the day. So this was the one that we spotted the roots on first. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, ideally, I shouldn't be doing this one-handed. Um, but I haven't got... I'm running out of hands. Maybe I can pop you guys up there. Let me see. Yep, I think I can make it so you can see. So I'm just gonna it's definitely got roots. Oops. Oh. So it doesn't have a huge amount, but it has got some and all of that. So it just fell away from it. So that first one actually had the most amount of roots out of the three of them which is really interesting um, and hopefully I haven't disturbed the roots too much by transplanting them I, 
possibly should have waited a little bit longer. But you can't, you really can't always tell. Well, you can't. You can't tell at all what's going on under the surface. Something can look really lively and like it's got lots of activity happening, but it may not be filming roots. And you just can't tell. So we'll see how that goes. I'll water those in. Oh dear. Um, I might actually put some of those other cuttings into these pots. Not today. Not right now though. I need a break. <laughs> I've done a little bit too much. Um, I'm not feeling very well at all. Um, but we've at least got some progress. The one problem I've got now is these lovely little pots are on the ground. We're just going to give puppies opportunity to chew on them and cause them problems. So I'm going to have to rearrange some of my pots and some of my stuff around here to see if I can get them up off the ground so the puppies don't cause any problems. I'm um, not so worried about those as they're not, they don't appear to be doing anything. Um, see and that one I can't see it doing anything. So I should have room for these two at least up there. I hope. They yeah, should do. They should fit okay. It's just a, that one. I won't have room for it in that tray anyway. And the advantage of the tray means that the soil stays damp. Um, I have had it dry out a few times on me, which may have been good for it. I don't know. I don't know. Might have encouraged it to send down deeper roots. So that's the progress for today. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to get that up off the ground because I'm reasonably certain certain puppies are going to get into that <laughs> and I don't want them to. Um, oh, I know. I've got some trays for these big pots and I still need to sort these pots out because they haven't got any holes in them. So I need to get the drill out at some point. And drill holes in the pots. I've just got too many things happening. <laughs> so I've got that little drip tray there. It's not a, this is not called what you call an ideal way to use your barbecue. The barbecue is not meant to be a plant stand. <laughs> it's meant to be a barbecue. Clearly I do a lot of entertaining at the moment. Hopefully during the holidays I will. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the update for today. I'm not feeling all that great. Um, but I've made some progress and that feels great. Um, and I just love seeing everything grow. Um, but I really do need to get some of those cuttings into pot. I may end up putting a heap of them in the one pot. It just makes it harder to actually separate them later. But... It's all good. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Remember, you're either green and growing or you're ripe and rotting. And I'll catch you in the comments. Bless you.